Hey, how's it going? So I've had a little bit of a change of plans for my uh, shower plumbing and originally I was planning on doing one half inch pipe from the shower drain into my gray tank um, but I just want to show you this before I installed it so that once I get it installed I'm going to be able to get the camera in there just so you can see it but uh, basically I'm going to not install one and a half inch I'm going to go with um, this is a RV sink, uh, sink trap, like it's like a P trap. And basically I just went from two inch pipe and reduced it to, from this adapter, which is a one inch, one and a half inch threaded. So this, this P trap just, I've got it on there pretty, pretty tight, but it just threads on there. And then I'm gonna run three quarter inch line from here uh, over to my, my gray tank. Um, I did some testing and this little P-trap with three quarter inch line was able to keep up with my water hose that has a ton of water pressure. Um, I'm a little concerned, but at the same time, it, this is gonna be way easier, less expensive. Uh, I think it's gonna hold up longer over time. Uh, before I started building this camper, we actually had a Scamp. The camper is 16 foot, and I absolutely loved that camper. If I was three inches shorter, I'd still be, I'd still have it today. I would never be building this thing. Um, that is my only complaint is the height. I hit my head on the air conditioner more times than I could count. The bathroom doors was, was low. I could put up with having a small shower, um, but just the overall height, I was, I was like this constantly. And I, I could not stand that. Um, in fact, I've actually modeled a lot of this camper build, uh, excuse me, a, a lot of this camper build after uh, the Scamp the way that Scamp has built their trailers and they've been around a long time and had a lot of success. Um, we never had one problem with that thing. And a matter of fact, my mom has it and she loves it. Um, and so I actually go over there to check measurements and how, how they did things because I'm doing a lot of you know this camper directly after that. And one of the things that they do on their campers is they drain their showers with a three quarter inch drain line. Um, the only difference is, is that runs from the shower drain to this same uh, trap here, and then it runs to a filter, and then from that filter it runs to a pump. And this is because this, tra this trap sits lower than the gray tank on the scamps. And so they use the pump to pump that water back up and over the top of that gray tank back into the gray tank. So if I do run into a problem with my plumbing not draining fast enough just being simply gravity fed um, I do have the option I can put an inline pump I have plenty of room uh, to do that where just whenever you take a shower worst case scenario you have to flip a switch suck that water out put it in your in your gray tank before you overflow in your shower but uh, because of the way uh, you know RVs reduce the amount of water coming in the PSI already uh, typically 45 to anywhere to 65 PSI and then on top of that, we're going to be using a water saving shower head and we're pretty conscious about shutting the water off while you're soaping up and all that good stuff. So I just don't see this being any kind of a problem. Um, I think it's going to work well and hold up against vibrations and things which I worry about with gluing and screwing tons of different fittings and adapters in order to do the same thing that this is going to do. Um, we're going to test it. And if it doesn't work, I will make sure to let you know. Um, but I'm excited to give it a shot and hopefully everything works out. So here is originally what I was going to run my drain line for the shower was going to be. And it goes from 2 inch up here, which would attach to the shower drain. So it would go 2 inch. Down here it would then go to a one and a half inch reducer. And then I have this Y fitting because I gotta be able to run my uh, bathroom sink into this fitting here to drain also. And then to this special adapter, which is I think a half inch threaded, one and a half inch threaded for this HEP bow. And then this little guy took me forever to find because I was looking in the wrong department. Um, this is actually for your sink drain. Let me see, I have the, what it's called. If you're going to use a HEPFO valve, you're going to 
probably want to use this. It is a one and a half inch sink trap elbow. And they also have this in a straight fitting too. But basically it just goes from threaded to true one and a half inch PVC, which is what eventually you're, if you're using one and a half inch pipe will, will be the size pipe that you need to drain into your gray water tank. Um, but you can see it's, there's just a lot going on here. A lot of places threaded, a lot of places for it to leak. So I was just a little concerned about that.